What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Mon Bazoo. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we were finally able to secure the $40,000 underground grow up bunker thanks to our 500 oregano plants that we have up here on the surface. Now, I think it's important I start this episode off by saying I think it's kind of silly if we were to sit here and grind all day now that we have the bunker because realistically we've nothing else to purchase in this game at the moment until another update comes out of course but having said that I do still want to sort of tinker with the underground bunker and just sort of figure out how it all actually functions additionally in the previous episode I completely walked past the big oregano pack packager over here so this is basically what we have upstairs I believe except Instead of making like the small little packages first, like those, I think it just goes straight to the big boys, which I actually don't have uh, to show you. But you you know what I'm talking about. Oh, we have a couple here in the truck. And actually, let's just go ahead and hop into the pick -em up truck because we've got to go over to the sugar shack before I die once again of dehydration. You guys, I did sacrifice myself in the previous episode just for the $40,000 bunker. And like I said, I just don't really see the need to utilize the thing. But I will still mess with it. You know, we're still going to experiment. So it's probably going to be a shorter episode than what you guys are used to. But I think you'll appreciate it nonetheless. So let's come over here. Grab our can. Chuck it in the lid machine? What do you even call this? Uh, the crimping machine. That's what it is. We'll consume one of those. And we are ready to rock. So, first things first here, I need to figure out where my seeds are. Uh, after you crop a plant, of course you guys already know this, the seeds just sort of fall on the plot that you just cropped. Uh, but I don't remember the last spot that I had harvested. So, I've just got to sort of look around here for our seeds. I don't think I would have picked them up and put them in the shed. Let's have a look in here. They are not there. Okay, now I'm a little worried because I did a quick little scan through our field and I did not see them. I probably walked right past them. They, they've got to be around here somewhere, dude. Better idea. Way better idea. In fact, million dollar idea. Let's get just the small harvest basket. Really doesn't matter which one we pick up. We just need one plant that's ready to be harvested and there's our seeds. Super easy. With our seeds in hand, we're going to make our way back down into the bunker because they actually start us out with three of these outdoor, actually indoor, planter boxes. So let's go ahead and drop our seeds. And then these, I think I want to just place under each sprinkler head. I, I'm not sure if there's like a proper method of, of growing here. But let's just drop one of those right there. And then we'll put the other one just directly underneath this. Which I think these are supposed to be sprinkler heads. I could be wrong about that, but... The way sprinkler heads usually work is they sort of like fan out. So realistically, do these have to be directly underneath each sprinkler head? Probably not. I think all of them will get watered regardless. But let's grab our seeds here and we will start planting. Why does that one say two of those said no lights? Oh, okay. They're good. They're good. Control room, auto watered, 0% grown. Are they watered right out the gate? It doesn't look like it. Can we adjust the time of the watering system, or is that is that not possible? Next automatic watering time is yada yada yada. Okay, and then manually start watering. Let's let's try this. Oh. Oh, I see. It's like a mist. I was expecting almost a shower head type effect, but this is way cooler. It looks like all the stone bros from the the dealers like workshop area just showed up and we're just chiefing back here. So now those actually do appear to be watered and their little like 0% thing is now blue instead of red. Nice. All right. Good deal. So we're obviously going to need more of these. I'm going to leave the seeds down here, but let's head upstairs. We'll hop in the pick em up truck and then we can head off to Melanie's place. She's probably closed by now, isn't she? Okay, let's sleep. We'll do that in the morning. The next day. Now that a couple of hours have passed, I actually kind of want to check on our plants. I'm thinking, yeah, I was thinking our outdoor plants would probably be around like 20% or sorry, 20%. I live in the Midwest, you guys. We say 20 instead of 20. It's just, it is what it is. Uh, and then one of you informed me that we should be able to take a harvest basket and combine them somehow. Oh, you just click on it. 
Well, that's surprisingly easy. This one has some in it, but it says 0%. So I just want to see if... Oh, that's big. So 0% obviously in a much larger container isn't quite 0%, I guess. We're up to 30% now in our small basket. Let's try to reorganize these. That's really going to drive me nuts. All right, now we're going to head off to Melanie's place. My luck, she's not going to be open. I don't even know what time she opens at. Probably 8 a.m. Fingers crossed. Let's just come in super hot to Melanie's shop. Oh, Lord. Okay. Perfect. Perfect 180. That is exactly what I was after. Not really, but you know what? It's close enough. We can go ahead and leave the truck on. Fuel is like three-quarter tank. Should be fine. Melanie, I see you in there. Store hours are, in fact, 8 a.m. What's going on, my girl? Let's actually grab probably all three of these while we're here. I mean... Like I said, we're not gonna be using this money for anything else at the moment, so might as well. Now with those purchased and in the truck, these are about 20 bucks a pop, 19.99, good old 19.99. So she's got three in there and it looks like seven out here for 10 in total. That should be plenty to get us going, I would think. There is just no way that I'm gonna be able to fit inside this truck with all of these planner boxes, dude. And we're just losing things left and right. Okay, I'm gonna, that's not gone well. I'm gonna try to stack them, I guess, in the truck bed. Let's see if we can put that one there. Okay, and it's just gonna kick this one out. I should have brought the trailer, dang it. Kind of an oversight, should have brought the trailer. We've got two of those just barely squeezed into the cab over just a little bit. Okay, let's go around. God, this is way more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. And we're absolutely gonna lose a couple of these going down the road here, but um, we're, we're chilling. Already, dude, I haven't even left the parking lot. If I could, if I could just, if I could just close it, if I could just close the store, that would be awesome. All right, let's try to, ooh, let's try to shuffle these around a little bit, if, if possible. Close the, oh my, okay, you know what? We're not even going that far right now. Oh, I'm, I'm about to lose another, aren't I? Let's just drive very carefully. Um, in the last episode, we were obviously doing quite a bit of waiting around and just killing time overall, so. I think we should probably make our way to the post office. I'm guessing we're gonna have another bill to pay. The last one was like $37 or something like that. So I'm kind of curious to see if we have another one here today. We sure do. $61. Okay, that's a significant e increase. Increase? Significant increase from the last time around. Still can't close that door, but uh, we'll, we'll try to make it home, I guess. We're gonna lose this planner right here. We're good, dude, we're golden. I know a lot of you are very, very big fans of this series, and for good reason. It's a really, really interesting game. But since we don't really have anything else to do after this episode, we are gonna put it on a temporary hold, of course, until the next update comes out, which I'm sure won't be too terribly long. The last time we did this, I waited like a week, and then there was magically a new update, which was this bunker. But uh, we will be sort of switching directions back to My Garage, which is a, a similar game, but it's more like garage focused than all the extra stuff that we're doing here in Monbazoo. So hopefully I see you guys over there. We'll be doing that next Monday and uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's been a little while since we played that. The controls for that one are much different from this, but I think it's, it's shaping up to be something pretty sweet. So we have officially made it back home safe and sound these things just they need out dude they're they're done they are done wait did i did i lose one? Oh, we're good we're good just didn't see it i suppose we should probably do a quick head count right i wasn't really paying attention as i was pulling them out the truck we've got five and five that's ten in total good deal so let's get these brought down into the basement or the bunker whatever you want to call it and we'll get these similarly placed kind of how we have uh, those three right there. Now that we've got our additional 10 outdoor, technically indoor planter boxes strategically placed under each sprinkler head, we're going to start to sprinkle in our seeds. And then once we get this done, I think it's probably best we just do another manual watering. And then let's place the seeds over here so we don't lose them again. Granted, if we harvest anything else up on the surface, of course, then the seeds are just going to magically teleport up there. So we'll Sort of have to be mindful of that. But we'll make sure that we at least get these new plants a little bit of water to get them going. These are already at 40%. So they must grow a little bit faster. I guess it probably helps having the automatic 
watering system in place. Usually like up on the surface, there's probably like an hour, maybe two hours in between waterings where the plants are dry because I'm either saving or sleeping or sometimes both. But the thing I'm having the most difficulty understanding with this whole bunker situation here is just how we're supposed to get fertilizer into the auto fertilizer reservoir right here. Now I know we have a fertilizer like maker, fertilizer machine over at the cottage. So I think that's exactly where we're gonna head off to next so we can start to tinker with that and figure out how it's supposed to work. Here we are, dude. Thank heavens that we're using the radio a little bit more because it, it really does make the drive go by way faster than it used to without. I know that the music in the background can sometimes be a little bit annoying because it might, like the, the volume might be a little bit higher than my speaking volume, so it kind of drowns me out at times, but it's good. Like the, the music that they have in the game, I, I say they, it's a single developer. Uh, the music that the dev has put in the game is surprisingly good. And it's, from what I understand, royalty free. Uh, let's see what we have going on here. Small manual compost box. So what medium do we have to place inside the compost box to then compost or then turn into compost? Small compost fertilizer machine. Okay, this really isn't telling me much of anything. And to be real with you guys, I probably should have brought the chainsaw because I feel like the only medium we'd be able to use for fertilizer at this point is our grown plants or maybe like tree saplings maybe wood itself I haven't the slightest clue is this something I should just look up probably but before we do just give up entirely and and just do a quick goog search on the old googs I want to see what this is saying now oh cancelled Right, because we've already built it at our house. I was really thinking that the whole bunker thing was going to happen here since there was that large uh, large opening down in there before the bunker update actually went through. But I guess not. I guess that's just for show now. So here we go, Google. To use the composter, open the lid on the wooden box. Fill a harvesting basket with organic matter, such as potatoes, is what it says. Organic matter. So we could use our own plants, but that kind of seems like it could be bad for business. And by plants, I mean obviously our oregano plants, not our potatoes like it's suggesting. So I think what I want to do actually, let's head back to our place. We'll kill the music for a minute. Uh, let's head back to our place and we'll just harvest our existing potatoes. Or I guess we could just bring our potato seeds or whole potatoes that we have over here so we can get a little grow up started in this area as well. Are we gonna need another watering can or how is that gonna work? Are we just gonna have to take the watering can back and forth? When we were at Melanie's, I should have looked around for additional like supplies and things. I think that's where we're gonna get most of our stuff for any sort of plant related items. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Let's just let's just bring our watering can back and forth for right now. And then if there is another one available for sale somewhere, we'll try to grab that too. Alrighty, home sweet home. Let's go ahead and wrangle up our supplies. I'm actually not going to use the small harvest basket for this. Instead, I think let's grab one of these empty larger baskets and we'll just go back here, harvest these taters right quick. So we may not actually need... A plot of potatoes uh, well we, we probably still should because that's a pretty solid food source for us otherwise we'd have to buy the poutine in town and that could get expensive next up we're probably gonna need a shovel to of course dig the plots to actually plant these taters and lastly we just got to put our lucky tater in there right in the passenger seat look at it it's just floating it's our magic potato. We love it. Just before we head out to go test out our new compost machine, I think I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the rest of this field. Okay, not all of them are ready, I guess, but we'll clear out as much as we can because I wanna first sort of test out the huge packager machine that we also have while we're on this property. And come to think of it, we should probably plant some replacement potatoes out here since we do have these seeds still. So we'll just plant these nine spots right there so what does that leave us with uh 39 seems like plenty of course our underground bunker isn't just limited to growing only oregano wow these things are really taken off 76 percent already uh, we could of course grow potatoes down here if we wanted to do that 
kind of doesn't really seem all that worth it necessarily, but let's figure out how we use the huge packager machine. Oh, sorry. This is the big, this is, this is the big packager machine. Not enough to build that pack. Of course, of course. What was I thinking? We were going to use this tiny little harvest basket to produce one of the big packs? Not going to happen. Okay, so what we need to do is wait for those plants down in the bunker to grow, and we're going to have to use the huge harvest basket because the small ones just don't have uh, enough space. I was just thinking about this on our drive over here, but it seems like, even though, of course, the bunker was a very recent update, it seems like that would be more of an earlier game thing than, say, like, unlocking the racetrack, you know? That's a pretty significant dollar amount difference from... 40,000 for the bunker versus the 70,000 for the racetrack, which leads me to believe racetrack's probably later game or almost end game, you could say. But I think had we unlocked or purchased the underground bunker a long time ago, like when we were initially starting in this series, I think we would have been a little bit better off financially. Tell you the truth, I don't think we would have been grinding the maple syrup production as hard. But our first order of business over here at the cottage is going to be finding a nice area of the land where we could plant these taters. And I think actually right behind here would be pretty solid. Wait a minute. Do we have a way to 25? You don't say. Lucky number 25. I had no idea that was there. Um, is there no way for us to refill our watering can from here? We probably... I wonder if we could use the water itself down here. Maybe. We'll try it. We'll try her out. But for right now, I think let's just go ahead and start planting wherever. Doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Our cottage's house number has absolutely inspired me to plant just 25 potato plots here for the time being. I want a little bit of potatoes, you know, left over for us to plant both here again and then back at our house. Of course, when we harvest these plants, we will be getting more potatoes. So I guess in the grand scheme of things, probably doesn't matter too much. But the fact that we may or may not be able to refill our watering can while we're here is a, a bit concerning. Then we'd just be relying on the rain, and to be honest, it doesn't really rain in Monbazoo all that often. We'll head down to the dock, though. We'll see if we could just fill it up with, like, the lake or river or ocean water, whatever this is. We can! Okay, that's big. That is big, big, big. I was genuinely uh, worried, genuinely concerned with that. But... All, all is well. All is well. Next up, we're going to grab our huge harvest basket. And if we just open the lid, pick this thing up, we should be able to add into this box. Oh, just like that. Okay, just hover it over the top and, and we're good. So now we can close the box up. It says it's 100% compost in the box and 0% fertilizer. So this is one of those things that's just going to take time, I believe. And then pack fertilizer wouldn't be able to do until it actually accumulates a little bit of fertilizer in there. So we'll have to come back and check on this, maybe at a later date, see if we could add it into our uh, bunker back at home. But let's get loaded back up here. We'll head back that way. Since we're in the neighborhood, so to speak, I decided to stop by Jim's U-Pole really quick, aka the junkyard. I know I've addressed this in a few episodes, but maybe not everyone has seen those. But I continue to see people asking me to restore the junkyard E36. Either this one or there's another one right over there. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that, mainly because these aren't real cars. You can't actually do that, and the reason I know that is because the glove box on these vehicles does not function. Uh, there's no button to actually open the glove box, which is where the brains for the for the vehicle is actually stored. That'd be the ECU. So what you guys are seeing, usually if you've seen content creators, you know, restoring the Junkyard E36, that's actually an altered save file. You could call it a mod, I suppose, but it's not, it's not really a mod. So basically what's happening there is there's an altered save where instead of spawning at your house, the E36 I mean, it spawns in the junkyard. And you then venture to the junkyard to restore the thing. So I'm not gonna be doing that, mainly because I just don't I don't want to mess with altered save files or, or anything of the sort. It, it sounds like a lot more work than it's actually worth. Some people are probably gonna be upset that I'm just not even willing to look at the thing, but it's just not for me. I, I don't know, it's just, not something I'm interested in. So apologies, but hopefully you guys 
understand. Anyways, enough said. Let's get back to our place. I just had another thought actually on that whole junkyard E36 topic. Uh, there's probably a few of you that are speculating the real reason that old 2G doesn't want to do the whole altered save file or junkyard E36 route is because I would have to start the game over again. And you'd think that I maybe wouldn't want to do that. And you'd be exactly right. It's just not something that I want to do again. Uh, I've had my fun with it. It would be pretty much the same experience we've had. The car just starts in a different location. It's really not all that crazy. But back on the topic of fertilizer, the real reason we went to the cottage in the first place, if you really think about it, we kind of already have fertilizer with our whole computer save system here in that when we save, a lot of time passes and that would in turn sort of make our crops grow faster if you think of it that way so i mean if we're kind of already doing that do we really need to try the fertilizer i think probably not i mean we know what it's gonna do it's gonna make the plants grow faster and that's all fine and dandy but ultimately we really don't even need these plants to grow because as i mentioned at the beginning of this episode we have no real reason to make money if we have nothing to purchase. Literally everything I just said, thinking about it a little bit more, just seems like one elaborate cop-out so I can, you know, put this series on the back burner and, and start playing something else, which, I mean, is kind of true, but that also makes it seem like I don't like this game, which is so far from the truth. This game's fantastic. It's just we've been playing it a long time and we don't really have anything else to do here, so is what it is you know is what it is but let's go ahead and harvest these bad boy billies right there because they are 100 percent fully grown we'll leave the huge harvest basket down here come back upstairs grab our little little dude right here and we'll just sort of fill that one so maybe we'll have enough in the huge harvest basket now for us to be able to do this yes oh my god dude that's gonna save us so much time though Come the next update, okay, fingers crossed it's the hatchback. I'm really hoping for a hatchback. But come the next update, this is going to make things go by so much faster for us. So now that we know what the big oregano packager does and how it works, I think that's probably where we're going to wind down this episode at for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.